let's see how to go through this course for best outcome so first of all you need to download blender which is free from their official website then watch one tutorial completely don't skip it just watch it completely that's why i have created very short format so once you watch it you can actually do it do it in the sense you don't have to create something of your own but simply copy it whatever i have told you and please don't watch it like a movie on your bed it won't help you in any way so now once you're done with the entire course you can experiment with your creativity pick one tutorial at a time and create something of your own this will boost your skill in a big way so all the best let's get started this is the first thing you will see once you switch on the blender you have to click on the general so you will get in the general file you can also go to file new and general for the next files if you want to create new you can go to edit preferences and interface in this interface you can change the resolution to 1.4 so that all the icons and the interface will become much more larger it will be much more visible and clearer to you there are four sections here as you can see these are the four sections this may you can remove it you can drag it just like this you can click and drag it to increase the area all right we'll look into each one of them slowly and slowly in the course next thing is if you go and click on this icon you'll see all the editors here this will have different usefulness and utility mostly will work on 3d viewport so this is the 3d viewport as you can see you can go to the corner of this and you once you drag it once you see this plus sign you can drag it so it will split into multiple skin screen in order to close it you can just follow the same thing now let's say if i want to join this two i'll just have to go to the corner and move it into left or right so it will just cover up the space this is the basic 3d viewport where we have cube camera and light middle mouse button to rotate or you can rotate it from here also shift plus middle mouse button to pan around and scroll will up or down to zoom in and zoom out go to view then viewpoint here you can see top button right left but there is a faster option you just need to click this x y z directly from here it's easier that way left click to select anything and if you want to select multiple then shift plus left click if you want to select everything a and if you want to deselect then double a left click and drag or b for box select like this select the cube and click on the move option right here you'll get this three arrows you can first of all you can grab the cube and do or you can grab this handles or arrows shortcut for this will be g to grab or g plus x in x direction g plus y in y direction g plus z in z direction rotation also like this you can click on the bar and you'll get three handles you can grab those handles and you can rotate as per your wish or else shortcut will be r r for rotation if you want to rotate in x direction then r plus x y in y, r plus y and z r plus z similarly for scale you can either grab it and scale it or you can grab this handle or you can use the shortcut s plus x y or z there is a fourth option here where we, you can actually rotate and scale at the same time so you will get all the handles for scale and rotation here if you want to delete anything just select the object and press delete or press x to delete if you want to add just go to add and mesh and you can add anything from this option shortcut is shift plus a so to shift plus a you can do everything you can add anything any new object that you will add will come at the center where 3d cursor is so i have added a this is the 3d cursor this small option so whatever you add it will come there only the new object if you want to move it just shift and right click wherever you want to a new object will be added there if you press shift plus s you will get all this command for 3d cursor so one thing is if you want your 3d cursor back to world origin then click on back to world origin if you select this object you want it to the selected then 3d cursor will come back to the selected object click on the object go here and click edit mode shortcut will be tab you can just click tab and you can go to edit mode once you go there you will have three option vertex edge and plane so plane edge and vertex shortcut is 1 2 3 and you can individually edit them like we did in object mode scale rotate or or move and we'll have much more control over our object so that we can edit it more everybody's favorite tool extrude we just need to select the plane option in edit mode and there is the option of extrude we just select the plane and grab this handle and extrude grab the handle and extrude grab the handle and extrude shortcut is e for extrude you can just click e and you can automatically extrude next up is inset one of the most important tool 
select the plane and uh, insert it so it will create one more plane it will basically create more planes and you can edit that shortcut for this will be i i for insert so just select the plane and i for insert you can do the combination of both these i for insert e for extrude i for insert e for extrude now you have much more control to draw anything for more visual look go to the drop down option here click on shadow and cavity increase shadow a little bit and click here on both and increase ridge and belly so you'll have the shiny surface of your cube like this it's shining the edges are shining next up is loop cuts very important you bring the cursor near the edges of any object so you will have this loop cut so basically what loop cuts does is it create more faces now like this so we'll have more faces depending upon up, upon our requirement we can have many loop cuts once you click it you can actually drag it so you just click it and you can drag it so this way we can have loop cuts in whichever way we want uh, we have this operator option we can directly type in the number of uh, cuts we need we can increase and decrease the factor depending upon the requirement again and shortcut is control r for the loop cut and once you do the control r and you scroll the middle mouse button you will have this more loop cuts again once you have loop cut you can actually drag them as per your requirement knife cut is similar to loop cut actually we can actually draw it depending upon whatever design we need so we can actually draw it on the spaces and then later we can edit them so we just click it drag it and now these planes are ready for more operations spin tool is very interesting tool in the edit mode you just click the spin tool you will have this handle here you can move this object somewhere and this handle in x-axis you can just click it and rotate it like this so we'll have multiple options in the operator you can change the shapes you can change the angle depending upon whatever you are you want to furthermore you can actually rotate whatever you have drawn it like this you'll have this three handles in x y and z direction you can rotate them and individually also you can edit them so let's say if you are going to edit this particular cube we can edit them you should play with this spin tool it is really interesting to duplicate any object just press shift d and you can move around wherever you want to if you want to move it in x direction y direction or z direction just press shift d x y or z alt d if you do you can actually have linked duplicates which means if you edit the original object the other duplicated object will also get automatically edited like this if you want to parent any object select the kids first and then the parent then press ctrl p and object so now whatever you do to the parent the kids will follow whether it's move rotate or scale if you don't want that then press alt p to separate the parents from the kids and now you can move the parents alone and kids alone let's say you want to make this three different object into a single object you can actually join them by pressing ctrl j so it will join them now it's a single object now if you want to you can move it but it will behave as a single object you can do all the operation and it will behave as a single object if you want to separate it again go to edit mode select l on the particular object and then p and then separate now go to object mode and you can separate this cone select and click h to hide any object and alternately you can click here on these eyes to hide and unhide any objects you can click shift h to hide other objects apart from this particular object and click alt h to bring them back this also works in edit mode so in edit mode also you can use this command select a group of object and right click and move to collections now you can name this collection let's say cyl for these three cylinders and you will see see them here now you can edit them you can hide them unhide them so you can work on this particular group similarly you can move this cone to a different collection and you can edit them this is very important for complex projects now be focused here let's delete this cube i'm going to show you something very important let's add a cylinder so if i add a cylinder you will see here an option on the left corner if you click it you will have more option here like let me move it so you'll have option for this particular model we'll have vertices which we can edit we'll have radius which we can edit we'll have depth everything we can edit it and it it is true like whatever you uh, add you will have this operator option and you can change it now the thing is it will only come once once you click outside of it it will just go away it's a one-time option like this it's gone 
it won't come again now if i move this cylinder little bit here and if i add a new cylinder it will remember the last properties will have the exactly same cylinder like this so and look at here we have the pro option available now operator option we can again change it from here to whatever our requirement is so we can again change the what is this radius step and it is true for anything whatever you add whether it's cube cone sphere or anything you will have this option and you can edit it and you can play with it next up is bevel option you can click this icon of bevel you can select this edge and you can just pull this handle so you will have this operator option you have a multiple option you can change the width of the bevel you can increase the segments you can also change the shape by moving the slider up and down and there are few more option here so like this you can do it but uh, we'll see this in advanced tutorials but right now this is the basic form now we can also do the custom thing if you pull this here and if you go and if you increase the segment like this let's say five if you go to custom we have a few presets like this we have stairs and this kind of shapes so if we click this we'll will automatically have this profile on our bevel but right now it's not coming exactly like this because we have less segment let's increase the segment to 12 and now if you see we have the shape here so like this and let's say increase it to 15 now if you go to steps now you can see the steps are coming similarly we have saved presets right here and we can actually edit this you are not limited by the shape shapes that are given here you can just click this points and you can grab it and you can edit the bevel as for your requirement this is when we are beveling the edges let's see for vertices we click the vertex we'll do the control b and we'll have this vertex also in the beveled form uh, but you have to click this vertex option next to the edges we can increase the segment and we can do whatever we want to do like we did for the edges we'll have the similar options so this is bevel for you